say, I have been back in time and I've seen how beautiful this land was. It's still time to save it and bring it back to what it used to be. But we must stand up now. Otherwise, it's going to be too late. And for, for uh, my way of thinking is, if we... You gave me a minute here, I'm getting a little bit of... No, anyway, let's get back. Can I introduce Irene at this time? I, I'm, I'm not feeling that great right now, and I'm sorry about that, but I think I got the message across to you how I feel. And I think it's time we all see me do stand up with us. What I did want to say before I went off was I have most of BC with me, all the high chiefs. I'm related to most of them. And when my cousin, I called up my cousin from the we talked for months he agreed to work with me and was, I was using myself. Two weeks later he was dead and since then chiefs that have agreed to work with us are gone. And that's what they're going to us right in front of everybody's eyes. And they have the RCMP, they have the, the government. The government is, is a illusionary bloody thing that they own. We just have to stand up against them. We are the way. And I, I don't, I, I'm, I'd like to say more, but I don't want to offend anybody. I think I probably have already. No. But this is the way it goes. We have to stand up now. It's our land that you guys stand up behind us to hell with our course, to hell with our, we wouldn't be in trouble if it wasn't for judges and lawyers. And I don't mean any offense to you, but it's, it's, it's uh, the way I feel. Enjoying what you're saying, I agree with you. So. And if we can all stand up and go forth and let the people know, and I'm going to get on the website and I'm going to let them know, I want, I want there's many of us that feel this way here, and we, there's enough here for every one of us to live a life of peace and bring it back to the way it was without taxes and war. My people wouldn't go to war because it wasn't their war. It wasn't anybody's war, they just wanted to, as they did to yeah. Libya, the leader, I mean, he, there's, there's no reason to kill him, he's gone because he wanted to change the world. They don't tell you anything in the news here. If you want the real news, you got to get the European Free Press or whatever it is out there. Rupert Murdoch has control of everything here, he's got you all hoodwinked. You've been hoodwinked since you started school anyway. You're all brainwashed into thinking that you're, you know it all. You know nothing until now. Let's start now and bring our kids up without vaccination, without all the damage they're doing to us. The time that we start to stand together now, and I know they're out there waiting because I've already talked to them. And without further, before I, I like uh, my maid, Irene, who I'm fortunate enough to have. And she's the brains behind what little I have. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome to the Severn Squamish government. Uh, we are standing on sovereign land of another hereditary who unfortunately could not be here. Uh, the protocol between hereditaries is to phone ahead and say, I'm coming on your land. Uh, I'd like to buy a coffee or bring you some smoked salmon and gift you with tobacco. Um, unfortunately, that hereditary was out hunting, so he's, uh, he wasn't available to speak to, but we will definitely follow up with what's necessary for proper protocol and etiquette. Um, we're all about uh, sovereignty. The Southern Squamish government does not govern you. You govern yourself. The word government, govern, is self-explanatory. Mente is govern the mind. Very important that their agenda is not for your best interest. It is for their best interest. And the best interest for those people, and I'm saying people, because it's a group, it's a secret society, it's an Illuminati, it is the Bilderberg group, it is uh, whatever you want to name it. 
but these guys are on a depopulation program agenda to destroy two-thirds of the human population through everything that you breathe, you drink, you eat. Make no mistake about it. And their laws are going to make sure that they get that agenda across to you. So, vaccines for your children. Good news, there are many people saying the word no. And there are many beautiful crystal children being born in bathtubs without birth certificates. There's hope for the human race. And so one of the things that we decided to do was create a sovereign Squamish government, whereby you govern yourself. You know it's wrong to destroy property. You know it's wrong to lie. You know it's your right to travel on a road without an insurance policy or without an, a license or without a permit or without a visa. You know that as a sovereign human being that came and was born by spirit into flesh, what they decided to do was use a corporate agenda, corporatization in their best interest, traded on the stock exchange market Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Birth certificates are now valued at $564 million a pop to benefit them, the capitalized version of your name. So what did the Southern Squamish government do in order to become sovereign? We took all of the considerations to contract which is your identification, which is your passport, which is your social insurance number, which is the QCIP number that tracks all of the transactions through the um, secretary treasurer. He holds the bond value, the DTC, the Depository Trust Corporation. What they do is they manage all the books and the balances, the interest rates, the taxes. Your taxes do not pay for the infrastructure of your municipality. Not a dime of it goes there. It gets shuffled into Ottawa. From Ottawa, it goes to a foreign state. That foreign state then gets to say, let's go attack Iraq or Iran. My, in my humble opinion, I do not want my name associated by contract through the stroke of my pen on a tax contract that says, yeah, I'm okay with you killing small children in the Gaza Strip. I don't believe in it and I believe in peace. This is the reason why the hereditaries are finally coming up and taking the mic and saying the words, peace is here to stay. But it's a lot of work. Because right now, um, even though we've done all this work and um, I've got, we created our own constitution. The Southern Squamish government created its own constitution by adopting the uh, peace laws of the Iroquois. The Constitution is, for them, just a business plan because they want your compliance. They want you as their slaves. Fund their coffers. Put it into their pockets so they can fly out to private jets, have their home in the Bahamas, private account in Switzerland, which is no longer the case anymore because Stephen Harper went and had a meeting with um, the uh, Swiss Federal Council and they agreed that if you have an account, a bank account in Switzerland, it's no longer private. Revenue Canada can go in there, take your money and they don't, they don't even need a reason. And the reason why they don't need a reason is because I've traveled with two hereditaries to the Bank of Canada and the lawyer there said to me, well Irene, you want your contract back? I don't think so. And I said, why not? I'm asking for it. In fact, I'm demanding it. She says, I don't have to and I don't want to. So I said, I realized then right away, is there laws? Is there shit? I'm not going to play any energy into it anymore. So now working with the hereditaries, the peace laws that are built into the constitution of our government are now a type of adoption system. You need, here's the land, and here's the ship. You need a bridge. And the lawyers that are right now working for human rights, for wonderful work that you're doing, I commend you. That's a huge job that you're, you're up for. 
It's amazing. And it's lawyers like you that give us faith and hope that there will be a better world. I, and as lawyers in, in, that are working now in Florida that are stopping the uh, foreclosures and <laughs> saying that there is a law that says that you cannot continue to foreclose with fraud. Because I say foreclosures are actually fraud closures. It's got nothing to do with the integrity of the financing transactions. In any event, so what we did was cap and myself um, through the past uh, 40 years of research, um, we decided to take and build our own Southern Squamish government. And our Southern Squamish government is based on adopting laws as an equitable remedy through contract to benefit the creditor of life, which is you guys. You guys are not debtors. You guys are all a credit of life from the Creator's life force. You guys give credit to everything around us through the spiritual knowing that when you go in here, you operate from your heart, that you raise your vibra vibrational frequency of love, you no longer operate through the money God. Many of you, I know, have come here by whatever, um, you know, people helping out with uh, gas, people helping out with food, people helping out with lodging, people helping each other. And that's what humanity is really all about. Humanity is generally very good and very kind and loving towards each other. We are not war mongrels. We do not want to fight. And so when uh, Capilano and Red Jacket and myself, we cut up all our, our government identification and we send it off, I send it off to the Queen. <laughs> and I got it sent back. The whole package got sent back and said, send it to the issuer. I am not the issuer. I am not the monarch that controls this particular piece of identification, it's the government of Canada. So, of course, the driver's license had to go to ICBC, superintendent of motor vehicles, and then the um, diplomatic, or the passports had to go back to Passport Canada, because they are the issuers. And then, of course, Revenue Canada, with that little social insurance card. I, first time I send it, they send it back, and they said, oh, you're trying to claim natural person. No. Where did it say that in the notice? Can't you read? I never mentioned that word. I know where you're trying to put me. I'm not in that box. I'm sovereign. Okay? I made a choice not to enter into a war contract with you. I will not violate the Nuremberg principles. I will not blindly sign my name to a contract that goes out there and kills humanity. That's the high integrity of sovereignty. When you know who you are, then it becomes a problem for them. My last bit of co uh, communication was with the Department of Justice of Canada and um, the uh, Quebec Taxation Directorate because I placed a lien against the CCCE, Alphabet Soup Companies. That means the Chief Counsel uh, Canadian executives. You know who those guys are? It's a bunch of people in Ottawa sitting there making up tax legislation about what can we tax next? How about we tax uh, every time the, a cow farts? <laughs> Carbon tax! Yahoo! Right? So all this kind of stuff, when you start really digging and doing the research about who is controlling who, you can control your own life by being really sovereign. Capilano, myself, and Red Jacket, we've been hit very hard because the government didn't like that. They don't like to lose their slaves. They don't like the word slavery. And that's one of the things that uh, Revenue Canada did, did with me. When they sent back that social insurance number, I said, nope, 
This time I'm cutting the social insurance card up in half. I'm sending it back to you for security purposes because there's a lot of identity theft out there. And I'm telling you I'm breaking this contract with you because you are not my master and I'm not your slave. So um, our uh, uh, one of the things that we do is we also um, govern, the Southern Squamish government has a court. Our Southern Squamish court operates from a longhouse system. And what we do is we help people with their sovereignty. And when you become a Southern Squamish government, and this is the weird part about these guys, we started out with, what was it, nine million? Hey, Cap? A nine million copyright trademark on the um, capitalized name in any style of cost. So it's uppercase, lowercase, or it's capitalized business name. Revenue Canada didn't care, so they kept sending correspondence. We upped it to nine billion. Revenue Canada didn't care. We upped it to 21 billion. Didn't care. Then we upped it to nine trillion. They didn't care. And then finally, at $21 trillion per violation of the use of the copyright trademark name, they stopped. But it was too late. Because by that time, the contract that we issued to Revenue Canada was, because we, we know Revenue Canada is not a registered corporation. I hope you understand that. It's a private corporation. It's not registered. So you can't lean it. But, who is registered? Canada. Canada has a compliance issue with the SEC and they have to fill in audit reports and they have to file these audit reports with Mary Shapiro who is the commissioner for the SEC. No response. No response. In fact, Christy Clark had her lawyer write me a letter and say remove that registered lien from Christy Clark because she's a liability to the corporation. And I'm going, no, our court order says you must comply with your own laws. But their system is a little different. What they do is they make the laws, they break the laws, and then they're above the law. So you can't touch them. Wrong. You can with contract law. It's a problem for them. Because if you think that we are the only ones suing the Canadian government, or the Department of Indian Affairs, or the BC government, think again. There's many people like us out there that are taking the stroke of a pen to paper and reclaiming our sovereignty and enriching ourselves as creditors of life. Because that's who we are. We are powerful human beings. We have a friend here who notified us that there is this group in South America that actually doesn't eat and they don't drink. Do you know how much time we spend?